Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Manuel and I will show you in this video how you can use a CTrader to backtest your automated Forex trading strategy. And for this, we will use our uh, trading robot Arma1. What you need is CTrader. So CTrader is like a trading application you need to install. So you need to have the desktop version of CTrader. That's number one. Okay, we are in our CTrader application. And normally when you start CTrader, you start in the trading view. So you, this is where you can actually place your trades. But we want to use an automated trading strategy. So we switch into the automate menu, which is on the left. Once we are in our automate menu, we see all of our installed trading robots. So you see, I have a couple of different versions of this uh, bot installed. I'm a one and the one I'm going to use is version 205, which is the latest one. So we need two things. First is we need to select an instance means a trading pair we want to test. And second is we need to set the configuration parameter. So let's start with the instance selection or trading pair. So for this, you click the plus button and then you get a drop down of all of different available um, yeah, trading pairs. And in our case, we're going to use Euro USD. And then you will see that this pair was in, uh, added as an instance. So this is called an instance. You see here at an or move an instance. Um, so what happened now is that we have this red gear here. So there is some problem on the input parameters for this uh, bot. So we need to fix this, but we will not fix all of our trading parameters manually because it, there are a few in this bot. So we're going to load a set, a configuration set. So I have prepared this here. So you see, I have a CBOT set file, which contains a pretty fine set of configurations I want to backtest. That's pretty helpful if I want to uh, use different servers, different laptops to run my uh, um, to run my robot on. So I can just copy paste the uh, set file and then configure all of my bots in the same way. So I'll use this one here. For this, I go back into my CTrader menu. And then on the upper right corner, we see parameters. And here's like an open icon and the save icon. So we are going to use the open icon browse to our file, just select this and open. All right. So now we have loaded our set file, our configuration. So we could click play, but if you click this play button, you start live trading. So you will trade on your live account. So we don't want this. So the next step is we need to switch into the back testing panel. For this, you click back testing here on the top and then the screen changes into this. There is one more thing now. Now we need to define the, the period we want to backtest. So let's say we start in September, 1st of September to 31st of December. So this is like a three months backtesting, four month backtesting, September, October, November, December, four month backtesting, which in my opinion is a good period to test a one minute strategy. Next is we have after setting the period, we need to set our st testing our starting balance. For this, we click the gear and then we select here starting capital, like say 10,000. You can say it 500, 500,000, 30,000, 1,000, whatever you like. There's also some predefined values in here. Then we have to, if we know our commission, we have to pay. We can set also our commission here. And now comes a super important detail. You need to uh, adjust the data you're going to use. So in our case, we're going to use the most accurate data we receive from the server, which is tick data, which is very similar, but not the same to live data. And in that case, we can make a very, very precise back testing but keep in mind this is very very uh, slow compared to like the open prices so if you would just want a very quick testing use open prices it's faster but the results are less accurate so to be very accurate use tick data okay so we have set our starting capital we have set our data we have set our period we have set our configuration so next thing is we need to run this we have two options here option one is we run in visual mode which means we will run 
on the chart and we will see what the bot does. So let's do this first and then let's do the second one. So visual mode on. Okay, so the visual mode is now running. So you see the, the chart is going starting on November, uh, November, September 1st. You see the time and the, uh, the date here on the middle. And if you want to, yeah, uh, you can increase the speed of the back testing. Then you see it is running and yeah, executing your trades once it finds one. So let's let it run a bit and see how it looks when there is a trade. Quick um, info here, yeah, quick notice. If you increase the speed to 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, it depends on your capacity of your computer. If you have a super slow computer, you cannot even run 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. It will not make the testing faster. So you need to find a, a speed which fits your resources you have available on your laptop or your, or your desktop PC or server, virtual PC, whatever. Um, yeah, so what do we see here? So now the back testing is running. You see we have done already a couple of trades. And let me walk you through what we see here on the screen. So we have the equity curve here, which shows how our equity growth or maybe even decreases. That depends on the strategy. And we have a yellow and we have a grayscale. The yellow one is our balance. Balance is the realized profit or loss. So every closed trade will go into your balance. The equity is basically the life amount of money on your account. So if you have open trades and the trade goes up or down against you, the equity goes up or down until it's closed and then it will go into the balance. Next thing you will see while um, or during the run of the test is on the history. So you see on the history all of the executed charts, uh, charts not the trades. If you want to see uh, live logs, you just go into the log one, you see, okay, um, this is what my bot is doing live. So you can troubleshoot a bit and um, you see orders. If there would be pending orders uh, through the bot, you would see your open positions. Um, at the moment, there is no open position, but I guess it's uh, yeah, coming pretty soon. Quick tip, like a, a, a quick hint here. You see this, um, I don't know how to call this, this button here. Um, and if you double click this, the chart jumps back to the live chart. So it will just follow um, with every new um, bar will follow the chart. If you move it a bit to the left, you see you have a bit more space on the right. That's the back testing with visual mode. Let's see what the back testing in the not visual mode looks like. So I just stopped this right now. So I click or uncheck the visual mode. And if I click start now it will be a lot faster so it will execute all the trades without showing you the visuals there is no drawing there is no nothing on the chart you just have to wait until your back testing is done yeah let's let it run and have a look on the results in a bit all right our back test is finished so you see once the back test has completed you will see the chart again and on top of the chart you will see the result in like percentage and the absolute gain and, or like loss in your currency okay so besides those two yeah figures about the back test and result there is more so one is we should always look on the equity curve so how does the equity curve look like so in our case we see uh, the bot did pretty well for like 100 trades in a row and then we had some this or uh, money management which kicks us out of a certain trade then also after having a look on the equity curve you can check your trade statistics so this will give you some idea of how good your uh, bot is performing important um, key figures are the drawdown. So what is your max balance drawdown? In our case, it's 8.5% and the equity drawdown is 8.8%. So it's nearly the same. Sometimes there might be a small difference, but it's a super important figure of uh, yeah for the anal analysis of your bot. Then you see the total number of trades, uh, always for long and for short trades, winning and losing trades, uh, how many trades in a row were successful, 
Now, what you also see is if you go on to the histories tab is you see each and every trait. If you click on a trait, it will yeah, point you directly to the, uh, yeah, to the moment, to the time when this happened. And you see, oh yeah, we opened a trait here and uh, winning or losing depends on the trait. There is one thing I want to show you, just an advice, uh, what I always do in yeah, back testing, because you have seen here on the equity curve, we have like two times a drop. So this is basically an equity protection drop. And um, the bot has at the moment no news or event handler, which is getting news or some yeah, external information of what's going on. So we are just trading. If you trade manually or like later live, you are able to stop and start the bot based on external yeah, factors like events or news. Um, so what I recommend is if you see something like this, use an economic calendar to verify what happened here. So have a look on the history, scroll down to the first time when we saw the loss, which is here. So we see it's the 27th of October. Um, so the trade was opened here at nine in the morning and then go into the economic calendar and check what's happening on or, or what was happening on the 27th of October. So let's see here, 27th of October, apply. And then what did I say? 27th of October, scroll down to the date we're looking for. And then you see there were some high impact news on that day. Expected, not expected, whatever, but something happened here on that day. So this might be the reason why there was some action on the chart before or after. Um, same happened here if we just scroll a bit down to the other time. So as I, if we look on the 15th of December, we had a huge loss. So we saw, if we look on the trade itself, we entered a buy trade and the market just knew one direction, which was down. And yeah, this was when our loss happened. But as I said, this can be avoided by following the news. If you look on the 15th of December, um, you see, for example, there's a lot of high impact news on 15th of September, uh, December, sorry. And, um, better avoid trading on those days because if you can avoid a trade you avoid a risk of losing um, so it's pretty important as long as there is no active news trader in the bot itself always have a look on that that's just my advice and then if you look back on the equity curve you see not having this or not having that um, both of them could be avoided by because we knew up front what's happening on those days um, and then we wouldn't have those um, drop downs, uh, not drop downs, jaw downs on those days. So take this as advice and um, yeah, happy back testing. If you have any questions about back testing, C Trader, just contact us on Instagram. We are going to reply as soon as we can. If you like the bot, if you want to try the bot itself, um, let us know also on uh, Instagram and yeah, join our team or our community. See you in the next video. Bye.